When you want to build uh, visuals on top of each other inside Power BI desktop, inside your report, uh, for example, you have a card visual and you have a column chart, you want to change the order of which one comes to front, which one goes to back, uh, you might have noticed that we don't have send to back or bring forward or send backward those options in the right click of the visual but this is possible very simple i'm going to show you in this video how you can do that i'm reza rat let's jump into this video In any tools that you have the ability to add items on top of each other, um, for example, when you are building a image like a photo and you want to have a text on top of your photo or you want to change the order of things like you have a, um, you have a background <coughs> box that you want to have the text on top of the background box so that you have the text on top of that little box. Uh, usually we have a feature which you might have seen uh, you right click on that object you say send to back or bring forward uh, send backward these kind of things or bring to front these kind of things in power bi are done differently and i'm going to show you how this works so if you look at this um, screen that i have here i have a power bi report let's say in this report i want to have a um, like a title for this report for building the title what i'll do is i'll go and first insert a shape uh, let's say something like this i'll make it this size move it up to the top left corner and let's say this background color is fine you can change it if you want to but it is okay now i'll add a text box as well here uh, and let's also move that text box on this side and make it a bit smaller now text size i'll change the font of it to be 20 and i put a title for this report education report uh, now i want this to be on top of that uh, visual so i'll move it at the top of this you see that this uh, does not accept the background of that because it has its own background power bi visuals usually has their own background so what i'll do is i'll go to the format tab of this visual um, and then under size and style I'll turn off the background as you can see here this is just to remove the background so that it accepts the background of the visual before that so here is what I have built as a education report as a title and it works perfectly fine uh, now let's say later I'll go and create another shape and just to make these two look differently, I'll change the background color of this one to something a little bit different. Let's say for this one, <clears throat> just checking where to change the, the color of that. So let's say instead of this color, we'll change it to that color. And then I move this, um, this text over the top of it and you see the text which is here but as soon as I click somewhere else uh, in this report as soon as I click um, somewhere outside of that text box you see that it disappears and the reason that it disappears is that it is underneath this uh, this visual if I move this around you see that the that text is underneath so normally we right click on these and say send to back or bring to forward but we don't have those right click options here how do we do these actions in power bi so really simple the way to do these actions is you go to the home tab in the home tab you'll go um sorry in the view tab you'll go to the view tab in the view tab you'll see a bunch of uh, panels you can add one of them which is important for this action is selection pane or selection panel when you add selection pane, and this is one of the panes that not many people are aware of, not many people are using it, which is quite useful, simple, but useful. Uh, what selection pane does is that here you'll see all the visual items in your report. You see I have like four charts here and I see them here. Normally you see them by their title. So if their title is different, you'll see them differently here. Then you see I have two shape box. I have a slicer. 
I have a text box. Now the order of these items is the order that they would appear first. So if I want the text box to be uh, on top of my shape, you see the shape that I created first and then created the text box, text box is at the top of that. But the shape that I created after creating the text box, that is on top of the text box and that is why my text box is underneath the shape. So if I move this up on top of the text box, you see this appears. Even if I click elsewhere in my report, that is always at the top. So the order of items here is the order in which you see the values which is uh, or the visuals, which is quite simple to work with it. Something like layers in Photoshop or some tools like that. So you are actually working with these layers. Uh, my advice for working easier in this environment is to name your objects even better. Like for example, instead of shape, I could rename this and call it something like trying to find where the name of this is. Um, so oh, you can double click on it and rename it. So I would call this shape right. I could call the other one and when you click on each of these you see which shape it is. You see I click on these and it highlights that object. I could call this one shape left. Uh, for the charts I always recommend use a good name so that you can find them easier. Um, not only selection pane can be used for this kind of action, it can be also used for hiding or showing a visual which is a really interesting feature because um, by default when you go and hide a visual, let's say for example this visual, it's a column chart, I'll go and hide it, you wouldn't see this anymore. Uh, so you might wonder what is the point of hiding this visual. Uh, well the point is when we combine it with bookmarks and I have a separate video that I explain about how bookmarks, buttons and selection pane together works to build a really dynamic report. In your dynamic report you might have a button and by clicking on that button you might show different visuals like you might have three different visuals, bar chart, column chart, line charts laid over on top of each other and you change the height or um, uh, you change the visibility of these, create a bookmark, assign that bookmark to your button and with changing that button that visibility toggles and you see the results which is really fantastic. It's a really good way of uh, building a dynamic visualization. I highly recommend you go and watch that one. Uh, this ability to have visuals laid over on top of each other is not just for cards and things, uh, just for like um, text box and things like that. This can be also used for card visual or any normal visuals. Like here if I go and add in my report a card visual such as, for example, what I'll do here, I'll go and add a card visual. Uh, let's say in this card visual, I'm showing total internet sales amount in this. And then I may want this to be here, right behind this chart. Uh, and I'll change the size of these to make it a little bit smaller and also the callout value. Callout value is what you see as the number, category label is what category value or label is what you see as a text. So now you see that this is behind this chart whereas if the order of these elements in the selection pane and I'll go to selection pane again to show it to you. Uh, if the order of these elements for example if the card was down under all of these then you wouldn't see that card. So bringing that on top of um, at least the chart that we are going to show uh, makes the layer working really good. So it's a really simple function to use the selection pane. Uh, it's a place that you control which visual comes on top of the other visual. You also toggle the visibility which works really good with bookmarks. I hope this video helped you to implement better Power BI solutions. If you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.